I'm Sydney Grant for Good News 360, where we bring you stories showing how God is on the move. A China pastor who took a stand against demolishing crosses is now a free man. Zhang Shangshu spent eight months behind bars after he spoke out against the government bulldozing cross church crosses. Since 2014, authorities destroyed more than 2,000 church crosses. The government reportedly tried justifying the cross demolition by claiming the crosses were constructed illegally. According to China Aid, some believe Shang Zhu was singled out because he met with a U.S. diplomat in Shanghai last year. And from prison to the pulpit, one seminary program is transforming Texas prisoners from the inside out. 33 inmates received bachelor degrees in biblical studies from the Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary this month. Many of the men are serving long prison sentences, but their newfound faith in Christ is giving them a new sense of purpose. The Dallas News reports the graduates will be divided into teams and assigned to different prison units to minister to other inmates. About 180 inmates are enrolled in the state seminary program. And here's an FYI, a story for your inspiration. A Georgia police officer comforted a toddler who was all alone in a hospital. This picture of Officer James Hurst holding this two-year-old boy has gone viral. The boy was taken to the hospital after he was found unsupervised on a street in Savannah. Hurst scooped the boy up while he screamed and cried while being examined in the ER. Hurst says his act had nothing to do with his badge, but everything to do with him being a human being and a father. That's all for Good News 360. Have a great day on purpose.